Back episode 11, man. Keeping it rolling, man. Keeping it rolling, baby. You feel me? Today, man, I, know, I just wanted to kind of, kind of, uh, Kind of give my man his uh his due his due respect. Yeah, man. R.I.P. Kevin Samuels, man. I ain't get to talk about it, but I wanted to talk about it, man. A lot of females were celebrating. You feel me? Like it was trending on Twitter. Like it was it was celebrating, man. Like I don't know. It was kind of it was kind of weird to me, man. It was kind of weird. Oh my God, what happened to Kevin? Like, of course, and man, he kind of, um, he kind of rose to prominence with his, you know, his kind of, his, uh, consulting that he did on his lives and stuff. And, you know, he's known for being brutally honest. And I want to, I want to just set it straight. Like he used to put the women in line and the men, you feel me? So I don't know why, like, and man, the women so like they celebrating his death, man. It was unfortunate, man. He died. He died under a baddie, man. A little bad little uh Spanish chick. I think she was a nurse. I think she was like probably like she was young, probably like, yeah, man. 30, 32 or something like that. Yeah, man. I don't know. If you had to go out, would you wanna go out like that? Getting some box, you know what I mean? <laughs> they said, I mean, he could have possibly had a high cholesterol, you feel what I mean? He drank a lot of energy drinks and stuff, so I don't know, man. You never know. Then they got the conspiracy like, that the girl did something, you feel me? For the females, for the female team. She took him out. It, it, it's all type of stuff, but um, shout out to Kevin Samuels, man. I don't know if y'all seen, um, my man, bad man, Kevo, he tattooed, tattooed yo on his, uh, on his thigh. You feel me? He said, basically when, if a girl want to top him off, you feel me? When she go down there, she got to see Kevin, you feel me? <laughs> so I don't know. That's kind of crazy, you feel me? But shout out to Kevin Samuels, man. Oh my God, what happened to Kevin? You feel me? I like, I mean, I like what he was doing. I like what he was saying, you feel me? Yeah, man, you just keeping it real, man. Like, girls be wanting these high-value men, but they don't be, like, you know, they don't be high-value in they self. Like, like, that's what you want, but is that what the man want? Is you what the man want? And vice versa, you feel I me? Mean? Niggas, they want a bad chick or, you know, a pretty chick, this, that, and the third. Yeah, man, are you what she want? So, shout out to Kevin Samuels, man. Pay some homage to my man, Kevin, man. You feel me? Y'all got to stop that hate, man. That man was just living his life, speaking his truth, man. And <clears throat> I don't know, man. I guess uh, the truth, the truth, people don't really want to hear the truth. People don't want to accept that. People like living in their own little world, you feel me? They like their reality. So I try not to really... Yeah, man, tell people how to live their life or nothing like that. Because motherfuckers be knowing, like, they life suck, you feel me? They be knowing it's sucky, but as long as, you feel me, they, they could paint the, the, the picture for you that, yeah, man, they doing this, they doing that, just paint the narrative, you feel me? They cool with that. They cool with the, the narrative they painted, even though real life, like, behind the scenes, like, deep down, they, yeah, man, they ain't on shit. You feel me? They ain't on shit, ain't got shit, don't want shit. And man, just sit around looking at everybody else. But man, RIP my man, Kevin Samuels, man. And man, he died young, you feel me? I felt he had, and man, he could have he could have been bigger and bigger. He was, he was going to get bigger and bigger. I know that for sure, man. Because as much as females were celebrating and hating, like they was... It was the majority of, of his fan base, the majority of his, you know, his followers and stuff was the women. They was the ones calling and 
You feel me? They could have easily not called in. They could have easily hung up, easily not watch. But you feel me? Like, people be wanting to hear the truth. They just don't. They don't want to really apply it. They don't want you to, yeah, man, put them out there like that. But, yeah, man. I'm man, Kevin, man. Hey, a lot of y'all been um, hitting me. I want to let y'all know all the music y'all hear on, on, on this platform. You feel me? It's, 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 it's my music. You feel me? Everything owned by me. You feel me? If y'all like tracks, y'all want tracks. You feel me? It's, it's 2022. You feel me? You want a track, man, just DM me. Leave a comment to say you like that song. You find me, and you could purchase it, purchase it directly from me. You find me. You straight, and boom, straight get it to your email. You got the track. Ain't no labels. Ain't no this, ain't no that, ain't, man. ain't no middleman. You like the track. You want it. You want to bump it. Boom. Let me know. I charge you a flat rate. Boom, you got your track. You find me. So... Let's move on to the next topic. Matter of fact, I wanted to um Yeah, we're gonna move on to the next topic. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that up later. But the next topic I wanted to talk about was Can you have a business relationship and a personal relationship with somebody? Like, can you have a business partner and, and be fucking them? You find me? Is that possible? So, um, and man, y'all comment down and let me know, but, I mean, of course, I'm going to drop my spill, you feel me? And I, I speak from experience. I speak from, you know, what I've been through. And I feel like, no, I don't think it could happen because usually, it's usually one part of that relationship that, usually is more of a priority to uh, to one of the parties involved. One person might really be into the business relationship and the other person might really be into the personal relationship. You feel me? And it's like, say if you stop, yeah, man, you stop fucking with that female or whatever, that whole vibe, it usually changes when it comes to still handling the business that like that vibe be so off like yeah man it's just off you feel me it's like you know the person can't separate the business from the personal you feel me they might start be doing a little petty shit yeah man little slick remarks and all this shit you feel me so usually i mean in my field of work yeah man i definitely try Keep that separate. Matter of fact, I do keep it separate. I yeah, mean, I don't even be fucking around. I yeah, mean, when it comes to my business, because I, right, man, listen, man. Break my heart. That's that's cool. You feel I me? Mean, that's a part of life. Yeah, man. Hurt my feelings. Uh, that's cool. I get over it. But break you. Don't break my bank account, man. Don't don't break my bank account, man. Don't play around with the funds, man. Don't do that, man. Niggas got families, niggas got responsibilities and shit to take care of. You know, like, yeah, we might be going through something personal, but, but don't play around with that money, you feel me? So, I mean, I just feel like that shit don't mix. And if you do try to mix it, that should be a bad mix, you feel me? That ain't no that ain't no half and half, you feel me? <laughs> That shit don't never work out, you feel me? So, when it comes to business and that personal shit, unless you really got somebody that's, man, like, just super high leveled up on a business, and, and I don't know, sometimes you, I kind of look at it like on some Oprah shit, like, Oprah, you can oh, definitely tell Oprah put her business first, you feel me, like, yeah, Stedman been around, you know what I mean, for uh, all these years or whatever, but, you know, she ain't never married Stedman. It's like, it's like she is, is uh, it's all about Oprah. It's all about Harpo, you feel me? And she's a billionaire. But it's like, I don't know, man. 
it just it just seen from my from my history and also looking at other people, you feel me? Like that that shit don't mix. So when it kind of business, man, put that money first, man. Get that check first. Clear that check. Shorty, clear that check first. Then maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, man. We could, uh, yeah, man, Ronda, go somewhere, yeah, man. But, yeah, man, bring me that bag first, you feel me? That's what I'm about. Bring me that bag first, you feel me? Bring me that motherfucking bag. Yo, my shit jamming. Yo, make sure, man, y'all go to, y'all check out my NFTs, man. Listen. If y'all don't know what an NFT is, NFT stands for non-fungible token. That means uh, let's let's all right. Let's think about in, in the money in money aspect. Say if you got a twenty dollar bill, I could give you two tens, and that equal twenty. I'll give you four fives, five dollar bills, and they equal twenty. That's fungible. You feel me? Other currencies can equal that amount. Non-fungible means it's only one-on-one. -on -one, you feel me? You can't take this and take that to make my NFT or yeah, man, add this and add that. No, it's one-on-one. -on -one. So if you buy my NFT art, you have a one-of-one. -on -one, you feel me? Nobody else got this. You feel me? And then yeah, man, that's just a difference. So NFT, non-fungible token. You gotta get into it, man. It's the future of art. It's the future of business. Matter of fact, it's the present. It's going on right now. So if you're an art connoisseur, you feel me? This is the next level. Because these NFTs, you feel me, they come in with a I mean, they come in with a lot of a lot of stuff, you feel me? It's not like you just get in the art. You get the art, you get a membership, you feel me? It's like you're a part of something unique. So man, check out check out my um check out my NFT art, man. Zaza Bear NFT, man. A lot of different styles, a lot of different, yeah, man. Something you can hang up in your crib. Something you could, yeah, man. Like it's fashionable, it's fly, you feel me? It's nice, it's colorful. So check it out, my Zaza Bear NFTs, man, you feel me? So, um, next thing I wanted to talk about, let's get back into the classics, man. I got a classic. I want to review a scene, a scene out of uh, this classic movie. I ain't even got a name for this. I need to come up with a name for this segment so I could just do a big blast. Like, uh, yeah, man, movie review, classic review. I'm going to think about it. Y'all drop some suggestions. Give me some suggestions. Yeah, man, but... Takers, yeah, takers, man. It's a classic to me. To me, to, so y'all, it might not be a classic, but I could watch Takers over and over again. But I just want to play this scene from Takers. Let's go. It's taking what's mine. Oh, yeah? I should have shot you on the street today. Nah, you should have shot me five years ago on that fire scene. You're going to call, ghost. You're going to call. You knew the game when you was playing. You didn't have me back there to die like I was shit. You ain't shit, coach. I help you put this crew together. Show up. Now you, you want to take it apart? Drop it. Police. Put him down. Put him down. Stay out of this. Now listen to him. Between top. me and him, if you hit the fan, I'll kill you too. First time, drop him. Shit. <laughs> So I just wanted to review this scene right here, man. Like this scene, a little backstory, you feel me? They did the little heist or whatever back in the day. T.I. basically got left behind. He had got shot. You feel me? So he ended up getting caught. So, you know, I guess according to their rules and everything, once you get caught, you feel me? And yeah, man, they just basically, yeah, man. 
Damn, damn, man, you basically just cut off, you feel me? And no loose ends. So, I guess T.I. was holding that grudge the whole time, you feel me? So, when he came home, he had a plan how to get back at these niggas, you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? His other man fucking his bitch, all kind of shit, you feel me? So I just kind of identify with that, man, man. Cause when I was when I was locked down and shit, my friends ain't really do shit for me. I was hearing about all the money they was spending out there buying cars, doing this, doing that. They was having a good, good. <laughs> they was having a good old time. You feel me? Niggas, man, listen, man. Niggas trying to fuck all my bitches, man. All my bitches, man. And it's just, I don't know. It's just, it, it, it wasn't any, it's just a principle. It's like, y'all, you know, when I'm away and, and man, it's like the true, y'all show y'all true colors, you feel me? Then it's like, yeah, damn, y'all, you was always plotting on my bitches. You was always plotting on what I had, you feel me? So it gave me like, it just gave me some hating ass vibes, bruh. Give me some hating ass vibes. I ain't never fucked none of my homies, girls, or nothing like that. You feel me? I came home. When I came home, I ran into this chick I used to mess with. So I go, I'm rapping to the chick. Like, what's up? Like, damn, what's up with you? You ain't hollering at me. Yeah, you ain't happy to see me. And she was just like, nah, I heard all that shit you was talking about me, this, that, and the third. So basically, one of my mans, my old, my old associates, my old friends, you feel me? He always had liked Shorty. So his whole thing was just to trash me and you know I me mean, to her and thinking he was going to slide in there, you feel me? And, and 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 everything he said was false, you feel me? And I never I never confronted him about it because to me ain't I just know now. It's like it's no need to confront what I already know. Like niggas was always hating, niggas was always plotting. Niggas was always on some jealous shit, man. So I just want to, you know what I mean, bring up that scene because I ain't gonna lie, I came up with a plan, but my plan was more like just to use these niggas for what what I could bounce back on with, with these niggas and get these niggas the fuck out of here. You feel I me? Mean? Just get the fuck away from them niggas and shit. And I stuck to that plan. But you feel I me? Mean? Them niggas, niggas showed you your true, my, you know, they true colors and all that. But yeah, I just wanted to show that scene because. Y'all gotta watch how y'all treat people, man. Y'all gotta watch how y'all carry people, man, because you never know who is taking it so personal that they get back for that is is to the extreme of or TI tip, you feel me? Like, yeah, man, like some people that hold grudges for years, for years. They might not get you back today, but they they gonna get you back no matter how long it takes. So be careful how you, you know what I mean, you treat people, try to carry people, man. Stop that hating that shit, that backdoor, backbiting shit, man. For real, no kissing. <laughs> but yeah, that's my, that's my uh, classic scene review, man. Motherfucking take it, man. I like fuck around and watch that shit at it is, you fam. But yeah, though, man. Listen, man. Upcoming, man. Like... I got some good guests lined up. You feel me? I got some good guests lined up. So I want y'all to stay tapped in, stay tuned in. You feel me? I want y'all to start getting more, you feel me? More interactive and shit. More, more likes on these videos. Cause the more the channel grow, you feel me? The more, yeah, man, sponsors and the more the more everything gonna be available to the platform and then I can start doing more for my fan base, you feel me? We could be doing more giveaways, you feel me? Cash prizes, all kind of stuff. So like I said, man, if the core cool help grow this, you feel me? We all help grow this together. Everybody gonna benefit, you feel me? And like I said, like, this ain't nothing but a tutorial on how y'all could, you know what I mean? pop off and if you if you want to do your own little podcast do your own little stream and do your own content you feel me like just ask me what you need to ask me i'll let you know you feel me this is what i do for a little for a living you feel me 
it's what I do for a living. Like, just, you know I mean, I got my own production company, so I make content every day. You feel me? Whether it's, whether it's a short film or, or, or content for YouTube or music. Yeah, man, documentaries, podcasts, talk shows, you find me? Like, I do it all, so, yeah, I mean, just tap in, yeah, man. Do something with your life. But, um, yo, one thing I just want to address before, before I sign out, one thing, man, like, listen, man. Y'all with y'all, people with y'all cell phone clips, man, y'all got, y'all, throw them joints away, man. You got big ass phone with a cell phone clip, man, throw that away. You ain't in construction, <laughs> and none of that shit, and you don't need no cell phone clip, man. If you, if you're not older than 50, man, throw that fucking cell phone clip out of here, man. Stop that shit, man. <laughs> Stop that shit, man. Fuck around, get yourself hurt. The niggas think you got a big ass strap on your hip, man. Just put your phone in your pocket, man. You feel me? But yeah, though, man. We got we got a lot coming up, man. Just want y'all to stay tuned in. You feel me? Um, y'all know it's getting warm out. It's a lot of events that's popping up. You feel me? You know I've been doing these. You know a lot of different events and shit for years, but you know I never really. Like I said, I, I ain't never really transparent like that. I wasn't really putting my journey out there because, you know, I'm, I'm in the midst of it. I'm so deep in it, like, every day. Like, I'm just trying to get to the next level and next level. But now, you know, this is just a part of me building my content, building my brand. So, you feel me? We, I'm going to start taking taking y'all where we going and all that. You feel me? We got the roots picnic coming up. It's like, it's a lot of stuff. I'm going to announce it, you feel me? Let y'all know what's good and all that, but yeah, man. Episode eleven, man. Let's get up out of here. Oh my God, what happened to Kevin?